Delhi based eyewear brand Lenskart has become India's second biggest eyewear firm and this in a span of just six years. From Ratan Tata to Chris Gopalakrishnan, the co founder of Infosys, big daddies of the business world are investing heavily into the startup, which is adopting diverse distribution channels to make its products available both online as well as offline. Libza Mana brings you an in depth look. What started as an online optical shop is now becoming a household eyewear brand across the country. Thanks to its unique offline approach, Lenscard has taken the Indian eyewear market by storm with its innovative strategies. Today, the brand houses a wide range of eyewear and accessories, offering attractive schemes to delight consumers. In 2010, when India witnessed an e-commerce boom, experts predicted that high-touch and feel products like eyewear will not receive much traction. During that time, what made you think out of the box and launch an online eyewear brand like Lenscart? And I think online or offline, the problem remains the same, which is whether you have built trust in a brand or not. And offline, because there is a person assisting you in the buying process, there is always you know, the trust gets built by that person rather than by a brand, especially in the early stages of a business. Uh, whereas as the brand gets built, you know, the difference between the two doesn't exist. So I think overall, our overall bet was still that if we can continue to build a superior consumer brand, uh, people will consume it. After establishing itself as a successful online eyewear brand, Lenscart is now eyeing to attract consumers with its offline presence. So talk to us about the unique omni channel that the brand has adopted. We are online, we are on the mobile, we are going to consumers' houses, but still there are people who don't buy from us. And which is when the whole store thing came around. We did it in a very unique way. So unlike the typical offline retail where you would just buy stuff off the counter, we developed Lenscart stores and, you know, more around how can we leverage the benefits of online and offline. So our stores really became places where people can come, experience our brand, interact with our people so that they can build trust, they can help them make the selection, and then they can book an order online and the specs would get delivered to their house just like any other order. Lenscart has recently raised 400 crore investment from big daddies of the business world like Ratan Tata and Chris Gopalakrishnan. So uh, give us more insights into the funding. There are about 530 million people in India who need specs. About only 25% of those, which is 170 million, end up wearing a pair of specs. So still about 350 million people, which is pretty much the size of North, you know, population of North America today, need a pair of specs in India. And Lenscard's goal is, you know, how can we make specs reach all these people? That's what this funding will enable us to do. It will allow us to reach all those people, make ourselves more accessible, make ourselves more affordable, uh, make the, take the awareness of eyewear in the country to next level. Lenscart boasts of giving the lowest cost for the best quality, as the products are delivered directly to the consumers, eliminating any extra costs. This eyewear brand uses German robotic technology to ensure zero human error, manufacturing high-quality lenses with precision and efficiency at affordable prices. When it comes to eyewear, quality is the only focus for any buyer. Being an online platform, how do you convince consumers about your quality and what steps at Lenscart do you take to ensure high quality products? So from a quality perspective, we have done a lot of innovation around frames. There's been problems around the quality of lenses in India. Almost every lens we sell on Lenscart is anti-reflective coated. Then we spend a lot of time figuring out what is the right thickness of the lens for the consumer. And you know, and the way we sort of guarantee all of this is that we'll probably be the only people in the country to give you a ear warranty on both the frame and the lens that you buy at Lenscart, which is pretty much non unheard of. Within a span of six years, the brand has witnessed phenomenal response from consumers. Today, how strong is your focus on marketing to retain the attraction of consumers? So our marketing is really just about creating enthusiastic customers. And, and the mantra is really that saying, we will do whatever it takes to make you happy. The brand also aims to boost employment in India with its skill development and women entrepreneurship programs. So tell us more about it. You know, the government has been talking about skill development. So we started training people on, you know, using our machines to running stores and people who had no optics background. And as we realized that the government of India has launched Stand Up India, which is a women program, and they would facilitate loans. 
So we are now really reaching out to women, particularly, to become entrepreneurs as part of the Lens Card scheme. So we, you know, our goal is to sign up 500 women entrepreneurs over the next three years. The recent funding in Lens Card Kitty, how do you plan to utilize those funds? What's the way forward for the brand? Our first big investment is going to be around supply chain. Uh, we're shipping close to about 5,000 spectacles a day. We want to go to 20,000. Uh, the second biggest investment is going to be in people. So you just started, you know, hiring a lot more people. And more than, more than quantity, it is really about figuring out, you know, how do we get some of the best talent in optics, you know, which is a very, very complex field into the country. So we're bringing a lot of talent from outside India uh, to figure out how we can develop some of the best eyewear in the, in the world. From providing a unique customer experience online to introduction of a 3D trial room, Lenskart produces 5,000 high-quality lenses per day and is raising the competitive standards for established players in this niche segment. In a city like Lucknow, kebabs are available at every street corner. So how does one kebab eatery ensure its patronage over its competitors and that too when it is in the city of Nawabs. Pooja Jain finds out she was in Lucknow. She met up with the managing director of Dastar Khan. Take a look.